Hello guys and welcome to a new Star Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Gonna be joined once again by Attack Power. Good morning, good evening, and good day. I'm salty. I'm very salty right now. <laughs> In this video, <laughs> I have you game five of a best of five between Gonzo and Onord in the grand final of season seven of the Steel Division 2 League. It's all to play for. Today, they're going to be playing on Slutsk West, and on our left in the red, we have Gonzo playing on the Axis side using the 20th Panzer and the Maverick deployment type. And on our right in the blue team, also playing on the Axis side, we have Onord using the 16th Panzer and the Balance deployment type. What do you have to say about that? You know what I have to say about that. <laughs> so, so for Gonzo, the 20th Panzer, excellent choice, A tier division, fantastic, really does not have any significant weaknesses whatsoever. If anything, maybe a lack of CQC infantry would be its you know, greatest problem to deal with. Otherwise, it has a huge variety of everything. Support weapons. Its tank tab is mostly Panzer Fords. I guess that could be a weakness too because Panzer Fords are like paper glass tanks. Um, you know, Panzer Grens, the whole nine yards. It's a great division. 16th Panzer. Um, um, uh, UUUU would be proud, I guess I can say. Um, he's on... Um, I don't even know where to start. He's on balanced with the 16th Panzer opening with a King Tiger. It's there. The yeah. King Tiger. The glorious <laughs> King Tiger H with the 200 millimeters of frontal armor. Uh, what could go wrong? Let's well, be honest. And he's not even calling it in on the open north. He's calling it in on the road in the town. I'll just secure that road, man. I'm I'll upset. I'm, I'm very upset. Let's have a quick look at what Gonzo is putting down <laughs> on the top side here. We have the Alf Cutter, the 45mm AT gun, and a Pack 40. Uh, for the center, it's going to be a Panzergren and a Panzer IV. He's going to be having two Panzergrens and a Panzergren DP with the Panzergren Führer and the Mata 1. And then we see two Soft Stroop 45 and a Panzergren DP at the bottom. So. Oh, Nord. <laughs> he, Nord. He even says, for the memes, boys. No. Oh, Nord, you yeah. could have won. It's the last game oh. of <laughs> five games. He, he hasn't lost yet. Okay? No, he hasn't. I don't know what this King Tiger's going to do. I don't know, but I... I Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the rest of his deployment. Oh. He's got these Panzergrens and Panzerfaust on the top side, the Pioneer, Panzertrek, and the Pack 40 Further down, MG42. He's got the King Tiger, the glorious King Tiger, with the Grilla, the Mobilwagen, Panzergren, and the 233. And on the bottom side, one MG42. He's going to have a lot of these MG42s available. You can get quite a lot of cards of them, I think, in the 16th Panzer. So well, you have to. to control the ranged engagement. Yeah, you have to because you have like six cards of infantry only. Um, it's yeah. I mean, if he wins with this, I'm I I don't know where he lives, but I'll send him a beer. <laughs> well, the 20th Panzer does have, you know, obviously the JU-87s and the Pack 43s. They have and, plenty of ways um, to deal with this thing. The 280mm Verschamen even yep. uh, that can deal with the King Tiger. So Nord's going to have a lot of dodging, dipping and diving to do with this King Tiger, which is not really its specialty. Um, the King Tiger, however, will dominate all of the armor that Gonzo can throw. So... Who knows? Might be able to pull it off. It's just the 16th Panzer is just one of those divisions that doesn't have quite the same support weapons as the 21st Panzer. The 21st mm. Panzer, great division because even if you remove the King Tigers, it's still good. Whereas this division, it's like a King Tiger division and everything else is just kind of like trying to supplement it, but not quite. Yeah, this, anyway, this division is not off. good. Yeah, this the 16th Panzer is not good. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's for 10v10s when you want 100 King Tigers, and that's about it. Yeah. In 10v10s, it's pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 20, <laughs> 50, uh, uh, like eight King Tigers will do things there. Absolutely. It's interesting to see that both players have deployed quite conservatively. Yeah. Gonzo, start on the red side here. So he has got a little bit of an advantage early on. Uh, by, well, just the way of this map, really. Uh, and is moving a few, quite a few units to the bottom side here, just a stop strip there to capture that flag on the edge of, edge of the map. I got, I got my screen flipped the wrong way, my bad. 
All right, I'm ready. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Panzergrenz is moving into the flag on the top side there, and the Panzerschreck are uh, going to be moving into cover as well, but might bump into the Stoshra. That Panzerschreck's in a bit of a weird place. Yeah, and he, he just keeps going with it. Luckily, that Panzer three can't see it because it's blind. So he, he will get into this far successfully, and I mean, he he's going to be in a prime position here if this Panzer three keeps driving up to take that out. Yeah, you might be able to catch it out for sure. These Stoss troop, mm -hmm, these Panzergrens, will they get to the edge of the trees fast enough? I'm I don't think they will. I'm entirely sure they will, yeah. If the Stoss troop get within the 100 meter range, those submachine guns really turn on and the Molotov cocktails can do a lot of damage. Oh, oh there we no, go. they do get there. Wow. Okay. Oh, goodbye, Stoss troop. <laughs> delete. Absolutely deleted. <laughs> yep. Control Alt did Delete. Clean. Good. Panzergrenz with these DP is really going to be no match for the Panzergrenz with MG42s at a distance. Nah. You said the 16th were bad. Those Panzergrenz doing a great job so far. Okay, the 20th Panzer has Panzergrenz too. Just noting. <laughs> MG42 for Gonzo coming in to take back the uh, center from uh, Onord's MG42. Well, unless Onord's MG42 kills the MG42 of Gonzo before it unloads. No? Okay, never mind. The MG42 of Gonzo should be able to win that engagement due to the MG42 of Nord already uh, being slightly pinned, so... Unless this pack uh, 40 unloads and starts supplying some support. Oh, but the King Tiger on the other side of things really coming into coming into work now. Yep. Taking out no infantry out of that MG42 in its first shot. <laughs> the focal wolf actually failing the bombing strike that was, as well. Wow, those lovely fifty kilogram bombs. Not a fan of those. BF one hundred nine G two does come in from Gonzo. It looks like he was looking to maybe have a little bit of a dogfight there with the focal wolf, but we'll see if he can make that work. The Panzergrens and Pioneers moving back on this top side. Oh, a bit of a head-on, bit of a dangerous move actually for the BF-109, but yeah. pilot panic is really, really good news for Gonzo because he's going to be able to get straight on the back of it and shoot it down. Unless he overshoots. Yep, that overshot. Too. Yeah, um... So, fuck Wolf away with it for now. Oh, Panzer Shrek does find that Panzer three finally. So yep, that goes that down. Was, that was something. Greela going to be having a go at the Pioneers and Panzergrenz here, though, with the support with the Pack 40 and the 45. Oh. All those units get absolutely obliterated. The nice support weapons that the 20th Panzer has to play with are certainly coming to fruition there. Pack 40 almost got a transport snipe onto the Panzergren, but not quite. And here come the Panzergrenz on the side of Gonzo. With the and MG it's going to uh, well. gonna get deleted here by this Grilla. Oh, down to one man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well... As I always say, the one health AT guns are the deadliest. We'll have to wait and see if that is the case here, because it could just pop forwards and kill that grill, grill in one uh, shot. Although Gonzo is fire positioning, and if that's off target enough, <laughs> it almost found the kill. Yeah, we can already see if you zoom out that red has a pretty dominant amount of troops on the field, comparatively speaking. Blue already is, uh, or Nord's already pretty significantly on the back foot. I think with Onord right now, like there is a lot of initial points investment put into the King Tiger Mobile Falcon combination. That's 390 points. And the main thing for Gonzo is he's just going to not let that King Tiger get value by driving things into it. So all he's got to do is like move like the Panzer IV on the bottom side, move armor on the top side. And you can see that's why Gonzo is probably putting so much emphasis into this top side push right now, because that's not where the King Tiger is. And the King Tiger is going to try and move to the top side. And you know what's going to happen as soon as that King Tiger reaches the top side of the map? Well, Gonzo will probably start pushing the bottom side of the map. So it's it's kind of a very big predicament for Onord that he's put himself in bringing out this King Tiger H and yeah. Things aren't getting much better at the moment. Gonzo's managed to clean out the majority of Onord's Panzergrenz so far and is keeping out of line of sight of the 231 and the Stug on the top side for the time being. Uh, Grilla, meanwhile, is going to probably end up taking out this Pack 40 in the mid, which is going to be a pretty nasty loss for Onord. He is, yeah, massive, massive unit disparity across the board right now. 
Yeah, and, and let's not forget, too, that Gonzo is Maverick as well. So being this far behind early against Maverick, like we haven't even hit phase B. Maverick really doesn't even have its income advantage yet. Truly, you know, it's only a 10 point difference. Yeah. To... So now you guys can probably work out why Attack Power was so dismayed by the choice of the yeah. 16th and why he has little faith in his <laughs> plan for victory here. But we'll see if uh, Onord can stay in this one. The 2 3 1 does have an opportunity here on the top side to start chipping away at some of this infantry at close range because none of these Panzergrams or the Stosh Troop have any AT. Uh, the Panzer threes are going to have to get in close to help out there if those infantry are going to want to continue to move forwards. Yeah, I, Vulcan spent 10 minutes trying to convince me why this wasn't a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just playing too many turn by turns these days. <laughs> uh, Panzer Panzerfaust coming in to try and reinforce on the top side. Uh, pack 40. Unfortunately, it's still... It did it did hit it's using apcr unfortunately so it didn't do any like significant damage and now it's going to get deleted thank you didn't even need to get a shot on target there to get the kill and another mg42 being put in the middle by a nord which is risky because the Grilla will just be able to kill it quite easily unless the king tiger moves forward with it which it looks like it might just be doing but he's gonna need probably a second one which <laughs> sounds kind of crazy but if he had two of these and he had one that was like maybe further like further up on the top flag and then one in the middle he could play off that in order to push back any of these Grela or Panzer fours that push forwards and then you know use his own Grela to kill the MG42s and the Panzer guns and stuff that are out in the open and that way secure some flags in the center of the map but the only flag that really would he would benefit from is the one on the hill and well, goodbye MG42. It's already Wait, so, so Vulcan, you're telling me the only way that Onord can win is to buy more King Tigers. More King Tigers. You have enough oh. King Tigers on the field, eventually Gonzo can't avoid them. And then he's in trouble. Right? It's obvious. I can't believe I didn't think of that strategy earlier. <laughs> Fuck off coming in straight into a flak 43 here. That's not going to get anywhere close. Takes quite a lot of damage actually uh, after the oil leak crit there as well. On the top side, the Panzergrenz getting pushed back. The 231 goes down to the 45 mil. Pioneers now coming in to back up. The Fokkerwolf actually went down to the flak 43 as well. Things oh. are just going from bad to worse. Up north, the Stug. Onord. The Stug is getting triple teamed here and will probably die to this light AT. Might get away though. The nope, APCR, there it goes. Yeah, APCR armor oh, crack from the Panzer III. Finishes, finishes it the off. Job. And now he has Tiger. a Tiger Fear. That's going to be engaging the Grela. Nice one shot kill there. He did need King that. Tiger. This is going to be pushing back the MG42 in the open. He can probably just use this King Tiger to take this flag on his own because. The thing is with the 20th Panzers, they have the Deutsche Stalin. That's probably like the biggest tank they have, right? And then they have, which actually has to come on the field. He's got the got it on the on the back side there. Oh yeah. Uh, and other than that, he's got the Panzer Fours and then the Marders. None of those are really going to be like good enough to fight a King Tiger. I mean, even side shots from like Panzer Four, like he'd have to get into range first of all in order to even, in order to even do that. Yep. So, you know, this King Kai can stand pretty strong and not have to worry too much about side shots as long as it doesn't move too far up. So it can definitely sit on top of this flag. Yeah, the, the issue, of course, being that Gonzo knows this. So he's going to basically send most of his troops on either the northern flank there or probably eventually into this town or into... Well, he is sending troops into the town. And even yeah. down south at that little, you know, uh, forest line there, the only thing holding that is MG42. If he discovers well, that, yeah, Anord's doomed. As I mentioned earlier, as soon as he sees a King Tiger move up on the map, he can just start pushing in the town instead. So, Grela versus uh, Grela action here. Uh, although that Grela on the side of Anord's not going to fire, but Gonzo here just trying to fire position on the road so that he can pin down the infantry in the buildings either side, allow his Panzergrenz to move up and secure that. He's also got these Pioneer SVTs coming in. These are actually pretty strong at the mid-range because of the SVTs. Uh, so he's going to be 
able to do some damage to the Panzer Grantor. The Pack 40, getting a cheeky shot there onto the Panzer 4, going to force that back for the time being. Yeah, and, and he, on the top, Pioneer is not making much ground. No, and he also has his commander out, the Panzer 3 there on the hill. So his, his leaders are now actually double vetting his troops as well, something to be aware of. Yeah, Fokowolf looking for the shot onto the BF-109. BF-109 does actually manage to get its bomb off, but regardless misses. of the Mumbavagen. Misses slightly, which is why it didn't kill that Pack 40 straight up. Yeah, otherwise it probably would have. Fokowolf is going to get away, but... Well, the BF 109G2. I that don't thing think is it will. Made of paper. Yeah. <laughs> and the mobile Wagen has a 37 on target. And yeah. there it goes. Going yeah. down. That is, so I, Pioneers, I. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Pioneers are moving through the town now quite significantly in towards these uh, Panzergrens, and the closer they get every time, it's going to force the Panzergrens to move back. Pack 40. Uh, Panzer 4. The Panzer 4 goes down. Yeah. The Pack 40 goes down. Sorry. Yeah, Pack 40 goes down. That is one That is one of the only other weaknesses of the 20th Panzer. They have no fighters that are worth anything. Stuck did manage to take out a Panzer IV on the top side there. It did, yep. yep. And it, it should win that combat. It's got better armor, same gun, so it should win most of the time. Yeah, it's also slightly better rate of fire, I believe. Is it? So... Yeah, I think the Stug gets 8 round per minute or 7 round per minute rate of fire base. Oh, yeah. That's the same, never mind. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's the same gun. Yeah, it is. It's exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Um, I, I just am always used to like the Stugs being up uh, and yeah. maybe not so much the Panzer IVs. Uh, but in this case, on the hill, 3 star Panzer IV. Look at that. Beautiful. There it is. But 15 to 9 in favor of Gonzo right now. Kind of what and you'd expect Nord. it to be. Yeah, oh, Nord in a bit of trouble here. 2 3 3. Oh, lucky to not get hit by the three star Panzer IV. Griela, though, getting some good hits onto the Panzer Grenz. I think. And a second King Tiger on the way. There it is. That's oh, what we need. Thank goodness. The game is it's going to be cracked wide open now. I, I, think, I think what disappoints me most about the Koenigsteiger is it, it, its HE is horrendous, which feels it like is. stupid. It shouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Well, the gun caliber is actually not that big, right? It's just high velocity shell. No, it's still so, an eighty. It's an eighty-eight millimeter gun. I mean, it's as big as a flak, the flak forty-three gun is. So it it should do more damage. <laughs> Did manage to kill the MG forty-two in the mid. So what are you complaining about? Yeah, uh, one the, one whole man. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the second King Tiger is going to engage the Bush Stalin in the town. Next. If Gonzo doesn't notice, it might be able to get the kill here. No, Gonzo oh, he did notice. notice. Of course he did. And uh, he's going to be pulling that back out of line of sight for the time being. So, yeah, the King Tiger here. The best thing a King Tiger can do in this situation, legitimately, is just scare away armor. It's probably not going to get kills because nope. Gonzo's not stupid enough to drive into it. So... Basically, O'Nord needs to rely on other things in order to take ground, and that's where the 16th Panzer really falls down. Like that doesn't it does, have the support weapons. It doesn't have other things. Grands, yeah, to push forward. <laughs> it doesn't and have that's stuff. the trouble that O'Nord's having right now. He has those King Tigers. They they have a lot of presence on the map right now. You can see that Gonzo's trying to avoid them as much as he can, but at the end of the day, you know, they're not gaining him ground, and that's the biggest difference. Yeah, the tiger up top. Got a nice shot yep, there. on the yeah. tiger. Uh, and we can see that Gonzo is starting to bring in some of his anti King Tiger elements here. He's got a Verfamen coming in. Uh, we do have the Pack 43, which I assume its original intent was probably to set up somewhere to hit this Koenigs Tiger. Uh, it got held up hitting this, this regular Tiger and said this Grilla will probably be able to take it out, or it will do a lot of damage if it doesn't. There we go. Just shot far and away. And totally misses, so... Yep, good, good job, for King Gonzo. Tiger. <laughs> Panzer IV. Uh, but I'm not even sure where that's firing at. Probably those Panzergrands, yeah. In the trees there. The thing is, Gonzo's position in his town is just like so strong right now that yes, the Greta can try and do the same thing that Gonzo did to him. Um, where you just fire position on the road and try and do damage to the infantry either side with the like the misfires and... And just pin them down and allows the Panzer Guns to get in there. Nice kill on the Pioneers, yeah, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but still, it's it's just one of those things where 
is it going to be enough at this stage when when things are just piling up like gonzo hasn't really lost too much like only no. in the top side engagement has things really died and so both players are just building up forces and for maverick coming towards the end of phase b that is big right because you're gonna be sitting on a lot of points a lot of units and oh yeah really really hit critical mass very very quickly yeah you'll you could basically going into phase c like as a maverick player of course you're always like oh i want to attack fast i want to attack fast but the truth is it's very viable to win just by building up an absolutely absurd mass of troops that cannot be stopped at the beginning of phase c right so you have what you, you end up with 350 points more troops on the field than the balance player when phase c hits you just pile them all in at once and there's not really much they should be able to do to stop you yeah, so the king tiger is trying to get into position there but here comes the first verf time and strike four two three three go <laughs> getting caught up <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't the target, but <laughs> he'll take the kill. King Tiger looking for a shot at the oh, Panzergren of the hill. Oh, thank goodness. It's hitting that Panzergren. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> the, birth level, the second birth level <laughs> on the hill is now moving forwards to get shots on target. It looks like he's going to try and target the mobile wagon now instead. And then he can maybe start uh, bombing the uh, King Tiger or get the JU-87 in to start and now we dealing have with it instead. We have more Tiger E's as well. If if Koenig's Tigers weren't do, won't do it for you, the solution is definitely to call in Tigers on top of it. The Verframan took a hit though from that Koenig's Tiger. Ah, oh, that would have been fun. Gorilla, go, the Gorilla goes down to this armored push coming through the town now. Yeah, Gonzo can see that the King Tiger is kind of out of position here, so he's able to just like wheel these tanks down the road and into position to potentially put pressure on the King Tiger at close range, which is not where you know Onord really needs to be and losing that Grela is really tough for Onord because it's just one of those support weapons that you need and you only have I think one card of them I think in the 16th Panzer yeah and when you bring them in in A you get four and here's the issue too the 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 Stalin has moved up it needs to be close to the Koenig's Tiger to win it only needs to land one hit it, one penetration will kill the Koenig's Tiger and at that range it will penetrate and it probably will hit and in one shot it'll insta kill the Koenig's Tiger and against the King Tiger H, King Tiger H actually has a better chance uh, against the Bush Stalin. Does it? At this sort of right. range, yeah, much better. Ooh, oh, oh my! That? <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, it's the Hummel. It's the Hummel in the back. Oh, the Hummel. It landed a shot. Did that kill the Panzer IV as well? Was that the King Tiger getting the shot across there? Oh my oh, God! An armor crack. <laughs> oh yeah, that was beautiful. Oh. Driver kill onto the King Tiger that took a side shot. From side the shot three. from the APCRs. Oh, these King Tigers, they're coming into their own now. <laughs> <laughs> the fans, you just can't believe it, can you? Just <laughs> it. <laughs> it's you trying to prove to me that this was a good idea. <laughs> I'm not trying to prove you anything, I'm just trying to keep it hype, man. <laughs> coming into their own. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They got kills. You can't they complain. Got kills. <laughs> Yeah, his wait. How many points is this thing? Two hundred ninety. Yeah, his two hundred ninety point thing. Yeah, it killed uh, to three. It killed <laughs> a, a butcher Stalin. I mean, it's on its way. Okay, <laughs> two hundred eighty millimeter Verflamen does manage to kill the mobile wagon at the back. Oh, oh my yeah, god! Look, this King Tiger is just dominating the pack forty three right now. Oh man. <laughs> All right, well, on the top side, in the uh, meantime, Panzergren's unfortunately getting pinned down quite hard by uh, <laughs> Gonzo's Panzer IV. And the Panzer IV on the side of O'Nord is under pressure from the 45mm AT gun, but the 45mm AT gun not really getting the job done. Oh, here comes the first one. Um, and kills the Koenigstiger. Oh, down it goes. Oh, it's all doom and gloom with the King Tiger uh, going down. It's... it's basically over right? yeah and here comes the ju-87 d5 oh no oh, oh no it's the, it's oh, get the, oh the the mobile wagon the okay king tiger's too strong simple as that second one coming in i think it's going to be too spread to kill it yep so every yeah z71 there saving the day fucker wolf pulled off interesting engagement 
Well, there are two Maybe. three. There's two three star yeah. pack forty three. So that those are very very deadly. Yeah, would have. I don't know if it would have been worth it though to take down one of these JJ sevens. Probably like, would have trade been. Trade a fighter for it. Yeah, I would have probably said it would have been. But either way, especially if you yeah. then fly your your fighter back over the AA later, <laughs> which he did. Yeah. This two 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 is having a fun time in the town right now. <laughs> there is yeah. nothing there that can kill it, other than the Panzer IV that's like further back. So if it runs around and finds the pioneers and the Panzergrens, yeah, that King Tiger quite, quite took a, a lot with it. Yeah, the King Tiger took all that stuff with it. Oh, but it died. There it goes. Wait, the the, uh, oh, the two two died. Yeah. Side. Yeah. BF one hundred nine coming in Panzer IV suppressing some of those infantry up top but on both sides both both panzer fours are suppressing either infantry side that bf109 will probably get in here quick nope it did not get in yeah the mobile wagon's been doing a good job there of preventing those bf109s from getting the bombing strikes in uh but panzer four now gonna be in position on the bottom in the town to support the panzer guns trying to push back in here but it's gonna be panzer four on panzer four action across the map yeah. Be one on the top side with Hearth and the other Panzer four up against their Nord, and on the bottom side, yep, it's one v one. Yeah, I mean we are into Phase C. We are now two minutes into Phase C. About about twenty five minutes in is when the income technically evens out. So like the balance player has received as many points as the Maverick player has received. The Panzer four does. Uh, Onord is able to win the Panzer four duel up down in the uh, town here. So that's definitely a big win for him. Yeah, and then he traded one up in the top. So. Not too bad. Pack 43 gets transmission damage on the King Tiger in the middle, though. That's not good news. When those King Tigers get transmission damages, they m move so slowly. They basically don't move. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty rough to micro that from now on. But the almighty HE from the King Tiger is definitely going to be doing a lot of damage to this Pack 43. Oh, yeah. 2-2-2 uh, in the Panzer four, Trying to accompany... What are now dead Panzergrens into the town? There is some new, fresh recruits on the way. Uh, they're going to be trying to clean out the Pioneer SVTs and the Panzergren DPs. There hasn't been an infantry squad actually dead yet, though, from Gonzo in that town. That's kind of worrying. The 2 2 2 will likely finish off that Pioneer SVT finally. You would hope. You would hope so at this point. Jeez. Yeah, Greener. Is getting some good fire position shots into the town. We'll hopefully pin down some of those units before Onord makes a, a big push. But yeah, as you say, like if Onord holds for another you know, few minutes, then honestly, it could start turning around. I mean, it, it, it's still going to be kind of tight on infantry availability because it's 16th. Yeah, he's so he, light. He just lost a Panzer four. Yeah, he's he's got like fifty units of infantry, so it's he's not exactly going to be going deep. In fact, I think Gonzo has like twenty more infantry units than him, even on Maverick. Yeah, so it's going to be tough. Panzer four going down the bottom side. Two three three went down in the mid as well, so things are still being lost. Oh, pack forty three takes out the Gorilla. Yep, and does not kill it in return. So, not good. It's pretty rough. Pioneer though, approaching this flag, 14 to 10, he captures that flag, it's going to be 14 to 10, <laughs> because the mid yep. was lost to uh, Gonzo there, briefly. I think those back 43s on a map like this just do so well, oh, yeah. because it's so open, Well, we saw it. they we... still have cover on the top side. Yeah, and we, we saw it in the last game with Onord using these things to just extremely deadly effect. Um, yeah, they can be really, really awesome. Okay, oh, that oh, Grilla. Oh, no. That was a big chunk, and the Pioneer SVT takes out the other Pioneer. Neither of them throwing their grenades because they're way too close. Oh, and the second shot oh. as well. Oh, it's so bad for Onord moving into this town. Third shot, not on target because that was fire positioned. But my, my. Hummel on the bottom side looking to try and chip away at these Panzergrands so that he can make a move onto that bot side town flag. 
The king pack tiger. 43 is engaging the King Tiger here in the center. Yeah. Nebelwerfer coming in, though, probably to finish that 43 off. First shot bounces of the 43, and the Nebelwerfer is going to totally fail. Yeah, the 150 mil Nebelwerfers, I'm not a massive fan of them. I'm a fan all. I'm a fan of them in doubles. When you have two of them, they are pretty effective. Yeah, I think it's generally because you always have that one rocket that lands in the middle when yep. you have two of them. Whereas uh, when you only have one, they kind of spread a bit too much. Yep. Yeah, two of them does quite well. One really underperforms. Nice skill onto the Panzer IV by Nord in the town. Focke Wolf 190 coming in with a really relatively good bombing strike, but the double Marder 1 taking out the Panzer IV of Nord in reply. Back to 13 to 11, but five minutes left on the clock. The uh, MG 42s in the center getting erased by the Grilla again. Uh, now oh, a Verfrommenstruck. Here we go. Is it going to land a rocket close enough though? Because it's a little bit off target. J87 does go down on the top side, but the J87, is it going to kill the Tiger? No, it's not. And the King Tiger is going to be able to get away from those rockets. So not too shabby. Now, if he loses that Falcon Wolf up north, that would be bad. He needs those fighters quite badly. Ju87 coming in for the Königs Tiger now. Nothing shooting. Oh no, it is. Oops, sorry. The uh, mobile wagon was blocked by line of sight for a little bit there. If it gets off its cluster, that tiger is dead. Because there it is. This yep. time around, even though it's spaced out, it's already taken damage. So now he did lose his Ju87. I think that was the last one, actually. Yeah, it's gone down. Oh, this king tiger is in a bad spot. <laughs> Almost got side shot by the back 43 on the top side. And it is now falling back. If that 88 can get another shot in on it. It's possible. Wow, it didn't die. Okay. Panzer 4 on the top side did manage to trade for a Nord, but then got taken taken out by the pack 40. I mean, it's funny because I feel like this, it looked a lot more one-sided, but has somehow lasted a long time, even though technically yeah. Nord seems to be on like the worst side of the map somewhat. I don't know. But this King Tiger, it's like falling back, and because it's transmission damage it's so slow there it goes finally goes down uh, the in the middle there pack 43 up north goes down to the nebelwerfer finally so that's definitely a big kill for him i mean he's got three minutes left he's got to bring it to a 12 12 here the uh the king tiger in the middle is dead so that is that's a big kill because yep. he's now lost that ability to completely control the center and grab that flag that he desperately needs and this tiger is just not going to be the same it's nope. it's unreliable at best. I'm yeah. not a big fan of the Tiger in, in this game. I, I love the Tiger, but it does not perform well in this game. Yeah. Like, sometimes it can it can pull off miracles and, and just pop things at range over and over and over again, but most of the time yeah. it just misses and then it has a really slow rate of fire, so yeah, I, it just misses again every time. Against the Western allies, the Tiger's fantastic because they really don't have much to deal with it. Against the Soviets, it does not perform super well. Or against other the Axis players. The Marda 1 just oh. takes it out. Easy peasy, bish yeah, bash bosh. A 50 Another point king unit. Hey, it's what Odenord needs. More King Tigers. Oh, okay. This will, on the way this, will, the this will solve our problems. 15 9. <laughs> 15 to 9. Yep. <laughs> Double tick for Gonzo. Pioneer SVT lands a nice HE on the Stug. And hey. do a chunk of damage. By the time he's out of time, the King Tiger might have gotten to the crossroad there in front of that flag. Maybe. There, Flamen. Looking for some rockets. Where? On to the Tiger, but yeah, he cancelled that <laughs> in yes. time. He's going to have a couple rockets left for the advance by a Nord into the town. Two, three, three up north kind of charged in and got kind of stuck. <laughs> If you see a <laughs> just, just being chased around by fans right now. He literally drove okay. them both up to here and just kind of one of them died oh, and now he's running. Oh, the pack 43 killed the Stug before it went down. With, I told you, one health AT guns are yep. the deadliest. And the Panzer We're guns from gonna go with that. Oh, dead. it's just a absolute white out there for Oh Nord. He gets crushed in the town. Uh, Another MG42 gonna go down. I don't think with the town not under control by a Nord, it's just gonna be 
gonna be over. And I think even if this were to continue, nah, Gonzo's still got way more stuff on the yeah. map right now. And I'm pretty sure that he is, uh, Onord's running out of infantry rapidly. Yep. He's and the MG42 going down in the middle again doesn't help. Yeah, he's... It, it, this division is bad. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you can sum up this game? <laughs> That's it? how I'm summing this up. Your, this division... first cast of the grand final game <laughs> five, you're going to sum it up as this division is bad. Yeah. Onord picked a meme division and lost and no one should be surprised at all <laughs> 31 minutes 44 seconds gonzo is gonna be the victor of the still division 2 league season 7 congratulations to him some might say that it was given to him on a plate i say <laughs> that it was he had to fight through king tigers so good job <laughs> You know what? I, honestly, credit to a Nord for lasting thirty some minutes using the sixteenth Panzer against yeah. Gonzo. Against Gonzo it, playing the twentieth Panzer. It does feel like a bit of an anticlimax. To be completely honest, it yeah. does feel like a bit of an anticlimax, especially considering how a Nord made such a big comeback. Oh my god! You yeah, he, he played so well in games three and four. Like, and then and then he did that. For, yeah. For the memes. No. 3,340 kills, 2,530 no. losses. No. For Gonzo. I'm very upset. It's, I'm it's so just upset. Panzer Force, Pack 40, Grealers. Lovely combination of forces from Gonzo there, getting plenty of kills between them. Lots of lovely value. Managed to find uh, one of the King Tigers with the. Pack 43, one of them with the Verflamen, and then like the third one just wasn't in time. You should have brought it in sooner, man. More King Tigers are better. Yep, that would have been answered. Even, let's let's add this up here really quick, Vulcan. So that Kinnix Tiger that you were trying to tell me was worth it killed a... Killed Boris Stalin. Boris Stalin. A Panzer yeah. three and a Panzer Grenadier. That killed is 30... the only IS-2 in the entire German army. No, I mean, no, no, no. Win. No, no, no. It killed 50 points on... No, 40 points for the Panzer III. 30 points for the Gren Grenadiers. We're at 70. And that Be Sta uh, the Boy to Stalin is... How many points? 200? 160. Okay. Or is it more now? It might be more now. I think it's yeah. 200. I want to say it's 200. So it killed 270 points, and it is worth 290. So not even that one was able to kill more points than it was worth. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. let this be a lesson to all of you do not play 16th panzer in 1v1 don't yeah it's just the 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 trouble with the king with king tigers is they just don't have support in this deck like they do in no. the 21st panzer it's as simple as that and, and it even the 21st panzer is very challenging to use you're, you're investing a lot of points into a singular unit and that singular unit is not going to kill as many points as you put into it. It just won't. It can't fire fast enough. It can't do anything fast enough to actually, you know, get your value out of it. So, like, they're just difficult to use. And you need a really good shell around it. The 21st Panzer is 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 solid on its own without the Königstiger. Having it there is, is, is fun, but it's not what makes that division useful. So, that's the difference. The 16th does not have a good shell around the Königstiger. It's just a division with big tanks. Yeah. Well, I just want to say before we finish, thank you, Tech Power, for doing this with me. Uh, I know that there has been some of you who have not necessarily been totally on board with it, and then a lot of you who have been on board with it, I personally really, really enjoyed co-casting with you. So, big, big thanks. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. This has been super fun. I, I've really enjoyed getting into the steel division two community after the, over the last few minutes i've played the game for years but you know to get a little bit more involved starting the youtube channel and everything has been really fun and i'm i'm really enjoying helping people you know if you're listening you know come subscribe check out the tutorials and stuff i have a whole thing built up of over all kinds of topics on how to get better faster because vulcan and i both know this game doesn't have a learning curve it has a learning mountain um <laughs> it, it, it takes forever to not suck at this game 
It really does. Yeah. It takes a long time. Um, and, and if I can help you get there faster, that's awesome. I think more people should play this game because it really is. I mean, it's a, it's a great game and there's no game really like it out there. Yeah, definitely go check them out, guys. Anything else you'd like to say about the the tournament? Oh uh, well, great great games to everyone. Truly, um, you know, outside of our of our Mimi finale here, uh, both players played fantastically. If you ever see these guys in quick play, you you should you should be afraid. Uh, they are both excellent players. And uh, thank you to the SDL Discord and them. They they're the ones who put on this whole league thing and really support the kind of pro play that we have in steel division two and it's really fun if you're not a part of that discord go ahead and join it there's also a boot camp discord these are both great resources for getting better and getting involved in the league which you should definitely consider doing because it's not all gonzos and stuff it's a lot of you know there's there's lower divisions that have you know more average players and, and people who are still getting used to the game and they run you know greenhorn tournaments and things like that so i encourage you to get involved it's really fun yeah yeah all great stuff so yeah, congratulations to Gonzo for winning yet another season of the Steel Division Two League. I think this is like his fifth, fifth time winning. He he um, is a guy. He's a, he's a, he's yeah. the goat. He's the goat of SD Two. Commiserations to O'Nord, but I kind of feel like he might have shot himself in the foot a little bit. He he deserved um, it. He kind of deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it from us. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you some other time. Yeah, have a fantastic day, folks. Goodbye. Yeah,